Hi everyone, this is a math 082 video 4.3 and we're learning to factor trinomials. So remember, anytime you're factoring, the first thing you always want to do is find the GCF of all the terms. So if I look at all three terms, I don't see anything that can factor out of all of them. Um, so I'm just going to say that my GCF is 1 and I'm going to move to my second step, which is to ask myself, how many terms do I have? As you can see, we have three terms, so that tells me to use the AC method. Okay, so remember the AC method first requires us to find A, B, and C. And we find them by looking at the coefficients here. So right now it might look like there's nothing next to x squared. So you ask yourself, well, how many x squareds do I see? Well, gee golly, I see one x squared. So that looks weird. There we go. Okay, so my a is one. Remember, one is like a ninja number. He's always there, even if you don't see him. Okay, then I'm looking for my b. Remember, the sign always goes with a number. So b is negative 12. And then I'm looking for c, which is 36. Oops, that is a 20. Okay, so AC is 1 times 36, which is 36, and my B is negative 12. So 36 is a number that has many factors, if you think about it. Um, one thing you could do to help yourself is you could draw like a prime factorization tree, or you could literally just start list listing out the factors. Um, you have 6 times 6. Um, what else do we have? We have 9 times 4. We have lots of different possibilities. So let's just start with six times six. So six times six definitely works, but six plus six is positive 12. And we want a negative 12. Well, that's actually pretty easy to fix here because negative six times negative six is also equal to positive 12 and negative six plus negative six is equal to negative 12. So that's my solution. So remember, there's the long way and the short way. So this time, I'm going to show you the shortcut first. Okay, the shortcut is to just write these things out in factored form. And then whatever I find, whatever my two factors are, I can just plug them into these two spaces here. Okay, so I'm going to have x minus 6 and x minus 6. But let me take a minute and go through the long method with you just to justify what we just did and to make sense of it. Okay, so we have x squared minus 12x. Okay, we are going to rewrite minus 12x as minus 6x minus 6x, right? Because that is negative 12x. We're just breaking it up into two different pieces. Okay, and then we have plus 36. So now we have four terms, so we're gonna use factoring by grouping. Now remember, when you have factoring by grouping and you have a negative sign right here, you have to artificially insert a plus sign in the middle and then just sort of scoot that negative sign over a little bit so that you can group your terms without changing the signs of any other terms. So I'm going to factor out an x over here, and then I'm going to factor out a negative 6 over here. And we're left with x minus 6 times x minus 6. And that's it. All right, let's do one more problem. Okay, so this time I'm going to fill in my a, b, and c. So a is 1, b is negative 9, and c is is negative 22. So AC is negative 22 and B is negative 9. So what goes into 22? Let's just forget for a minute that it's even negative. Let's just think of just positive 22. Well, we know that it's even, so it's divisible by 2. And you can use a calculator or whatever you want to um, realize that it's actually 2 times 11. So we can have 2 times 11, but remember since this whole number is negative, one of the two terms has to be negative. 
So let's make the 2 negative. So then we have negative 2 plus 11. Well, that gets us positive 9. So this answer is not going to work. So let's use the same numbers and switch the sign. Okay, this time I have 2 minus 11, and that gives me negative 9. So therefore, this is the correct answer. So remember, the shortcut method is to set up your factors just like this. And then put in, what do we have? Plus 2 and minus 11. Okay, that is the shortcut method. If you want to do the long method, then what we can do is we can rewrite minus 9x as plus 2x minus 11x. And once again, we have this negative sign right in the middle. And when that happens, we have to add in a plus sign and then shift over that minus sign, making it a negative. All right, so then we can group our terms, just like we learned in the last section. And we factor out an x here. We factor out, looks like a negative 11 over here. And... Then we have x plus 2 times x minus 11, okay? And again, if the factoring by grouping is challenging or difficult or confusing, go back and watch the videos I made for 4.2, and those should help you learn and master factoring by grouping.